doesn't matter what you say. He didn't win. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's so angry. Look at all the different colors and flavors of corn snakes here. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. How is the start of your day? It's so good to see your guys' faces again. I have some baby snakes I'm going to go through right in the morning that hatched out. I figured we'd bring them over here and just kind of take a look at them. This first clutch is kind of interesting because it's again one of those dual father clutches where we had two males in with some females and it just worked out that some fathered some eggs and others fathered the other eggs. The first one was actually a banana chocolate spinner and this was actually bred to a chocolate female and this actually hatched out which is absolutely gorgeous here. This of course is a banana chocolate spinner ball python. That's just a really cool combination. I love the way banana and chocolate go together. Now, ironically enough, when you start getting to spinner, which is pinstripe and spider, it kind of loses a little bit of the pattern. Some of the really cool chocolate banana cross doesn't look as quite as good, but what's interesting is that some of these other animals are completely unexpected. I wasn't expecting this male to be the father at all because we only put him in at the very end just as kind of a backup. And of course, it's this animal here, and it's an absolute beauty for sure, but that is a moth mahogany ball python and you guys may ask like Brian why would you put a second male in in the first place sometimes when we're just not 100% sure that the female was fertilized just as a backup we're like this male breeds really well let's throw him in and we wanted to see what happened now what's interesting is this is definitely mahogany but there's definitely a chance it's a mahogany chocolate ball python because mahoganies typically don't look this kind of cool almost looks like a super chocolate ball python this animal right here is much more typical of what you would see with the mahogany ball python so there's certainly a good chance that the other one is a chocolate mahogany ball python or maybe even it's a super chocolate. I'm not 100% sure. Once this one sheds out we'll have a much better understanding of what it actually is. You can certainly see the difference between this guy here and this guy here. Both really gorgeous animals but definitely a different texture. And then other than that we just got some normal ball pythons. We did get an actual just normal chocolate so we definitely got a chocolate. We got a mahogany. We got what looks to be either a chocolate mahogany or a super chocolate. We got the chocolate banana spinner so this was a pretty good variety clutch. But this next clutch really took it. I mean, oh doggy, there is some gorgeous animals in here. And this was actually a Woma Lesser Pinstripe, bred to a Pewter Cypress Ball Python. This animal here is definitely a Woma Lesser, and I have a feeling it's actually a Cypress Ball Python too. Now, typically the Cypress will have more striping, but this has a very unusual pattern to it. And then this one here is just actually a Pastel Kingpin, but again, it's got a kind of unusual pattern, so I'm going to wait till it sheds out because there's a chance this could also be a cypress ball python. Now moving on to something that I know is a cypress ball python. Take a look at that animal right there. That is actually a pewter lesser cypress ball python. Oh doggy, that is one beautiful snake right there. I couldn't be more happy with this one. The pattern, the color, oh my gosh, that was a home run. And then there's this crazy monkey right here. Oh my gosh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. This one kind of threw me for a loop. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This thing, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I mean, it's definitely a pastel. It's definitely a cinnamon. It's definitely a lesser. Looks to be a Woma. I think it's also cypress. But why is it patternless? I mean, just take a look at that animal. That is crazy. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It almost looks like a silver streak or a super pastel super cinnamon or something like that. But the fact is it was a Woma Lesser pinstripe was the female. So there was no pastel on the female side. So I'm not sure exactly what this is. Again, when it sheds out, we're going to have a little bit better understanding because you can see some faint patterning on it. But uh, guys, we hatched out some really amazing animals here. What do you say we get going with the rest of our day? You know, I do my very best not to really even worry worry about negative comments or drama type stuff because, you know, that's just part of being on the internet. Really, honestly, the larger you get in any kind of a platform, the more people like to spread rumors and so like that. Regardless, someone did say that cookies and cream was dead, and I just wanted to show you that cookies and cream is certainly still really feisty, still moving around great. They have not eaten yet, and yes, I am still a little bit concerned, and I realize that there's always a chance that they may not make it, but I believe in putting positive energy behind things, so I think they're going to do absolutely great. I love them to death. Just look at how cute these little monkeys are. I'm absolutely positive that they're going to get going. As a matter of fact, later today we're going to try to feed them again, so fingers crossed. I also wanted to assure you that Pickles is doing absolutely incredible, and that's one of the things that's going to be really great about the zoo next door, is because right now a lot of these kind of cool animals like Pickles and so many of my other things really aren't in caging that's like really easy to display, where I can go like, oh man, look, but once they're next door and they're in these big arboreal type cages, or big cages, whatever the case might be, it's going to be really easy to show 
show off. Not to mention, you guys know I'm going to be next door a lot, and I'm always going to be showing stuff. So when you guys don't see an animal for any length of time, don't think that something happened to it. Because trust me, if something happened to pickles or any of the animals, I would share it with you guys. They're doing absolutely incredible. And again, once they're next door, you're going to see them all the time. So we had an epic uh, argument, Lori and myself, on Noah's vlog. Uh, I wish I would have vlogged it on this vlog because it was perfect. Uh, was it good, Lori? I think I won the argument. So you can check out Noah's channel. <laughs> Go <ahead. laughs> <laughs> that is not what happened. Yeah, definitely. You can either check it out because finally, uh, like Eric said, it's the first time a man's ever won an argument. That's with right. Wife. It, it, it was good. Definitely. I'll put a link no. in the description. No. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not how it went down. I'll wow. put a link in the description. Go to Noah's channel. Check, check it out. And you can tell me down below in the comments. Let me know who it won that battle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you say. He didn't win. Let, let me know who won down in the comments. Taking a look at some baby clubbers that are hatching. Here's a whole clutch of corn snakes. And take a look at this. This was kind of interesting and kind of a little bit of a surprise because this is actually a head albino scaleless corn snake clutch, but that almost appears to be a snow scaleless. But you know, sometimes they're born really light and then develop pigment in time. Regardless, it's still a beautiful scaleless corn snake. And I know it's kind of hard to tell how beautiful a snake is going to be when it's a little tiny peanut like that. So this is actually a slightly older albino scaleless corn snake. And that scale is just makes the pattern and color just pop like you can't believe. Look at how freaking awesome that animal is. There you go, potato. <laughs> Potato likes it. <laughs> I tell you what, Potato is such a great animal. I love him to death and he loves strawberries too. I cannot wait to get him into a big cage. Again, he's going to be in like a four foot by four foot by three foot tall cage with all kinds of cool crevices. He's going to love it and you guys are going to love it when you come visit. Lots of corn snakes hatching. Another clutch right here of beautiful corn snakes. And I always say like the best starter snakes are typically ball pythons and corn snakes. Corn snakes used to be what everyone considered to be the best pet snake. Now, I don't know, ball pythons probably rank right up there. It just depends on what you're interested in. But from a colubrid standpoint, you can't really beat a corn snake. So Andrew has been back for about a week or so, and you've been working with leopard geckos lately. I know this isn't going to be what you're going to be doing full time, but trust me, Jessica needs the help because it's <laughs> absolutely insanity. And you said you like these guys, huh? I love the orange. Oranges yeah. and yellows. Oh my gosh. And look at this one. It's cool. <laughs> look at it. It's a toy seal monkey. What's the matter, little buddy? Oh my gosh, look at him, he's so angry. So again, Andrea here in another few weeks or so is gonna be next door a lot, yes. or most of the I'm time. I'm excited about that. I know, so when you guys come to the zoo, get used to seeing Andrea, because she's gonna be the one that's gonna be there almost all the time. He's not screaming or anything. I know, <laughs> that's what's weird. Usually geckos have like the vocalization where they'll scream. This one's just got his mouth open like he wants to bite. Okay, so you guys will get used to seeing Andrea a lot more. And one of the things that makes corn snakes so incredible is the polymorphism. Look at all the different colors colors and flavors of corn snakes here. And I tell you, this is pretty exciting here. This is actually a snow Texas rat snake right here. Oh my gosh. And again, I've told the story a bunch of times, like these just kind of randomly popped out of our clutches without us ever really trying to produce them. And basically what a snow is, is an aneurythristic, which is an animal that's lacking the red. And then of course, albino, an animal that's lacking the black. And that's how you get that kind of white or pinkish snow color. Eric, you know, every now and then I'd like to come over and just Yo. get some wisdom from you. What do you have to say to the people? Hmm. Oh, that, what do I have to say to the people? Yeah, what do you, you know, give something. You know what? Life short, go fishing. Get yourself a pole, a little can of worms, live a long time. And if you don't, you'll be happy. <laughs> if what, wait, if you don't live a long time, you'll be happy? Is that what you're? Just go fishing. Go just fishing. try it out. Eric just wants you to go fishing. Just go fishing. <laughs> and then finally, it looks like we just have a bunch of corn snakes that are just starting to pip out. And this little crazy monkey right here. What's the matter with you, dude? You are absolutely crazy. That's a really pretty animal, though. That's actually a caramel corn snake, which is a recessive mutation. Oh my gosh, he is an angry little dude, isn't he? So that's it for colubrid hatching for the day. We have a lot more to go, but it's so amazing to see these babies pipping out like this and hatching like crazy. That's all right, buddy. Calm down. Okay, so I got to get.
get out of here. I actually have a doctor's appointment for the ear, the one that I got my surgery on. By the way, there was no improvement. So it'll be interesting to see what the doctor has to say. Mm, mm, mm. So it turns out that my ear is just gonna be what it is. The doctor basically said that, you know, we did our best. It maybe improved 10% and I just have to live with it, which is completely fine. Before I end the vlog today, what do you say we go downstairs and check the incubator? And check to see what's hatching out down here. I tell you what, I'm always, what? I'm always excited to check the incubator, but what the heck are these? Hoo doggy! Wow! I'm not even sure what this is. This was actually an extreme gene lemon blast right to a super empty pinstripe. And these are actually empty pinstripes here, but look at these. These are not pastels, so they're not lemon blasts, but wow, that must be an extreme gene empty pinstripe. And we've got two of them and one more in the egg, and it looks like that's the same as the other ones. Ooh, doggy, that's very nice. And then take a look at this clutch. Ooh, man, there's some stunners in here. This was actually a Cine Killer King Spin bred to a Woma Lesser Pinstripe. Oh my gosh. There is some unbelievable animals. Looks like we've got a couple eggs that still haven't hatched out. But oh my gosh, just look at this. Even this pewter here is amazing. Wow, there's some incredible animals. Look at this one right here. What the heck, man? That thing is absolutely gorgeous. So regardless, guys, I think I'm just going to spend a little time just gawking at these snakes and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Let me know if you want me to cut some more clutches in this incubator room. If you want me to, I will. Comment down below. Make sure to smash that like button, turn those post notifications on, leave a comment down below because I love to read about you guys. Make sure you're kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>